Yo, Kepe Sky here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today, I want to introduce you guys to a series that I'm going to start. And I'm recording on my phone right now because this is kind of like a vlog style video. I don't always do this. I don't usually do it anymore. But we're doing it today because I want to talk to you guys about this project that we are going to start. So, in my last video, you guys, or my last few videos, you guys, if you've been watching, you guys know that I bought an acoustic audio 15 inch subwoofer from Amazon that was priced very cheap and we kind of tested it out. We took out the, the driver, look at the internals and we saw just how cheap these speakers are. And I told you guys, well, maybe we can take this box and this amplifier and maybe put in new components and make that subwoofer a better sub. I decided to take it a step further. We are actually going to clone one of my subwoofers that I own right now. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you. So this is my Rhythmic subwoofer, the Rhythmic G25HP. It is the boss dog out of the system. It has dual 15 inch subs inside a sealed enclosure with an 1800 watt RMS amplifier. And so I decided that I'm going to replicate one of these. We all know right now that any kind of audio gear, any kind of cars, any kind of home theater equipment is very hard to get because of part shortage. And so prices has gone way up. So I decided what I'm gonna do is try to clone this subwoofer as close as I can with the materials that I have. So what do I mean? Well, we're gonna build my own subwoofer. We're going to DIY a subwoofer. We're going to build it to the same specs. We're going to put two 15 inch drivers and then put a plate amp on the back side. We're going to paint it white and then epoxy it so that it has this nice solid uh, glass white glossy white look and we're going to have a second sub in the system similarly specced for the most part like the rhythmic subwoofer. Now, the hard part about that is when I was looking for different drivers, I didn't want to spend a, a ton of money. The point of doing this is to try to clone the subwoofer without spending the subwoofer money. I bought mine for $2,700. And if you look at it now, they're now $2,900 and they're on back order um, as of right now. So it's hard to get one and they cost more than what they used to. So this even further influences me to try to build one. Now, here's what's really cool about this build. I have a guy who's going to help me build a box to spec how I like it. I gave him the dimensions of the Rhythmic, and I also gave him the dimensions of the plate amp and the subwoofer that I'm using, the two subs that I'm using for this dual enclosure. And so he's going to help me build that and send it and give you guys a step-by-step -step on how I did it. So we're going to walk you guys through the process. That's that's going to be the series, is walking you through how to build this subwoofer, or how I did it, and then how it it performs what's even cooler about this I'm gonna use this sub for a while but I don't plan on keeping it forever this is gonna end up being a giveaway to somebody here this year not immediately I'm gonna use it for a while it's gonna be my second subwoofer out of the three that I have I may give my third one away I do have a behind all here is a definitive technology sub I may get rid of that one and use the one that I'm building for a while so one of the two will be a giveaway at some point so Definitely stay tuned for that. Let me show you guys the components that I'm choosing to use. I've done, I've been on the phone with Parts uh, Express all day today, Dayton Audio. I've talked to everybody. And so here's what I'll be using for this build, and I'll tell you why. So I'm going to be using the SA1000. It's a thousand watt subwoofer amp. It's rated down to four ohms, okay? I'm also going to be using one of their, um, I think it's the RSS series subwoofer. I'll put this on screen and in the description. I'll be using one or two of those subwoofers that are rated at four ohms as well. I can wire them to four ohms and put them to one amplifier so that I don't have to use two amplifiers or an external amplifier. I can use one plate amp to power both subs. So I'm going to be using that amplifier paired with those two drivers in my two driver setup for this subwoofer. And the reason why I chose this amplifier, one, it's the most popular, I mean, sorry, it's the most powerful amplifier that they have at the current moment. Parts Express says they're looking to venture into some higher, uh, higher series, higher powered amplifiers later on this year if things go well. But right now, this is the best that they offer. So I chose this amplifier to meet my 1,000 watts. And then I needed a sub that will match the amplifier's power. So both of these subs are 500 watts RMS. So each sub will get around 500 watts RMS. 
Now this is going to be a sealed enclosure. So these subs actually perform best in a sealed enclosure. I thought about going to a step up on the sub and getting the Ultimax subs because they have more excursion. They play a little bit louder, maybe a little bit deeper and handle more power. But with the amplifier, it wouldn't make sense. And these subs probably do better in a ported box. So I decided to go with the... Um, the the high efficiency rss i think it was called series again down below in the description i'm going to go with those subs that'll give me the best performance for the power they're a little bit more efficient so they'll take the power and turn it again turning into sound a lot better i think it'll sound pretty good so throughout this series i'm going to be walking you guys through how i'm going to build this sub how we spec it out how we assemble the drivers Put the plate amp in and of course there will be demos and product overviews of this and then eventually i will give it away because i do plan on actually getting another rhythmic sub um whenever i get a new house because right now it's just too big for this small apartment so if you guys are interested in that definitely stay tuned because i want to get that started i'm already getting the box built to spec right now so we're getting on uh, the ball already i've been on the phone with parts express so we've already been talking about subs and things like that so this process is starting right now i think it'll be pretty cool as far as the acoustic audio sub i still have the box and amplifier here and we talked about possibly giving this away putting a new driver in there i may still do that i may put a driver in there and give that away too so we'll have to see but anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about DIY subs. This will be the first time that I've ever built my own. So tell me what you guys think about the DIY subs. I do it all the time on car audio, but I haven't done it for home audio. Have you ever done anything like that before? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about DIY speakers in general. Is it cool? Is it a better way to go versus buying your big box brands? Let me know that down below in the comment section. Hit that like button. I guess it's this way for you guys. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already we will see you guys in the next video kps guy out peace